what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel where we have this question on the board which says find the value of x for which x to the power of 9 plus x to the power of 7 plus x to the power of 5 all over x to the power of 8 plus x to the power of 7 plus x to the power of 6 equal to 87 over 29 well, our first step towards solving this question would be for us to factorize the numerator and also factorize the denominator. Now, factorizing the numerator, you notice that x to the power 5 is common. So let's factor that out. So x to the power 5, common. So bringing it out, we're going to be having x to the power 4 here, plus we're going to be having x to the power 2 here, plus... We're going to be having one here that's it so all over now the denominator you notice that x to the power 6 is common so we have to factor that out so x to the power 6 now what will remain here i'm going to be having x to the power of 2 plus what is going to be remaining i'm going to be having x plus what is going to be remaining here one that's it now equal to now 29 can actually divide 87 so 87 divided by 29 i'm going to be having 3. now notice that x to the power 5 can cancel x to the power 5 here remaining x so what i have left is x to the power 4 plus x to the power 2 plus 1 all over we have x here so i'm going to be bringing out the x x to the power 2 plus x plus 1 equal to 3. Now, this expression, I'm going to be simplifying it such that it has x to the power of 2. So, that means this x to the power of 4 can be written as x to the power 2 raised to power 2. Because 2 times 2 can actually give us 4. Plus x to the power 2 plus 1 all over now the denominator i have x times x to the power 2 plus x plus 1 equal to 3. now this expression in the numerator it's close to a perfect square and what is that perfect square i'm talking about for example x to the power 2 plus 1 raised to the power 2 so this is the perfect square when I expand this, I'm going to be having x to the power 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 2x to the power 2 plus 1. So, this is a perfect square and this is its expression. Now, the difference between this and this is just negative x to the power 2. So, when I subtract x to the power 2 from this perfect square, I'm going to be having just this. So that means I can go ahead and write this perfect square, which is x to the power 2 plus 1 raised to the power of 2 and subtract x squared in order to get this numerator all over. Now the denominator, I have x times x to the power 2 plus x plus 1 equal to 3. Let's close this bracket. Now, notice the numerator, I have a difference of two squares. So, we have x to the power 2 plus 1 and we have x, both of which are carrying squares. So, let's go ahead and simplify that. So, expressing this in difference of squares, I'm going to be having x to the power 2 plus 1 minus x times x to the power 2 plus 1 plus x so this is the expression in difference of two squares so all over now the denominator i have x times x to the power 2 plus x plus 1 equal to 3. now notice that this expression here can go ahead and cancel up this expression leaving behind x to the power 2 plus 1 minus x all over x equal to 3. So our next step will be for us to cross multiply. So when I cross multiply, I'm going to be having 
x to the power 2 plus 1 minus x equal to 3x. Now, let's move the whole of the expression to one side. For example, I'm going to be moving this 3x to the left-hand side. And when I do that, I'll be having x to the power 2 plus 1 minus x. As 3x crosses, I'm going to be having minus 3x equal to 0 on the right. Now, let's add this up. Minus x minus 3x, I'm going to be having minus 4x. So this expression becomes x to the power 2 minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. So this is a quadratic expression. And we're going to be using the general formula to solve that. So a is equal to the coefficient of x squared, and that's 1. b is equal to the coefficient of x and that's negative 4, so negative 4, and c is equal to 1. So what is the general formula that we're going to be using? It's actually x equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So let's go ahead and substitute. On substituting, we're going to be having x to be equal to negative b. So b is negative 4, so I'm going to be putting negative 4 here, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's negative 4 squared, minus 4 times a. a is 1, that means 4 times 1, times c. c is also 1. So all over 2 times 1, that's 2 times a. 2 times 1. Let's go ahead and move further. So simplifying, we're going to be having x to be equal to negative times negative. I'm going to be having plus, which is positive 4, plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared, that's 16, minus 4 times 1 times 1, that's 4, all over 2 times 1 is actually 2. So x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4, that's actually 12, all over 2. So x is equal to 4 plus or minus. Now, the square root of 12 is actually the square root of 4 times 3. And the square root of 4 in this is actually 2, but I'm going to be having 3 remaining inside of a radical. So the square root of 12 is equal to 2 root 3 all over 2. So we can actually factor 2 out here. So let's go ahead and do that. So x is equal to 2 times. Now what is remaining here? I'll be having 2 plus or minus the square root of 3 all over 2. Now notice that 2 can cancel off. Now I have two values. So x is equal to 2. Now taking a positive sign, plus the square root of 3, or x is equal to 2. This time, taking the negative sign, we have minus the square root of 3. So this is our final answer. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.